Happy Fourth of July! Today we are going to be reading How to Make a Cherry Pie and Seed the USA. That's right! How to Make a Cherry Pie and See the USA by Marjorie Priceman. In the mood for a cherry pie? Let's get started. First, mix flour and salt in a bowl. What? No bowl? You will definitely need a bowl. Also, a pie pan, a rolling pin, a measuring cup, a pastry slab, a set of spoons, and some pot holders, which you can get at the cook shop. But if the cook shop happens to be closed, go to New York and hail a taxi. Ask the driver to drop you off at the corner of Pennsylvania and Ohio. Then find the closest coal mine. Coal is used to make steel, and you need steel to make your pie pan. Take the trolley deep underground and fill a bucket to the brim. Don't forget your hard hat and flashlight. Next, ride a riverboat down the Mississippi. It takes as long to sail it as it is to spell it. If the boat docks in Louisiana at lunchtime, eat a bowl of gumbo. Then go on a cotton farm and pick an armful of cotton for your pot holders. Catch an express bus to New Mexico. If the bus stops at the northwest corner of the state, take the opportunity to be in four places at once. That was fun. Now back to work. Your task is to find some clay. A good place to look is down. You're probably standing on it. Dig up enough clay to make a mixing bowl. Look out for cactus needles. Board a train to Washington, the only state named for a president. The only president rumored to have a set of wooden teeth. Speaking of wood, go to the forest and find a nice branch. Saw off a piece the size of a rolling pin and then... Attention, we interrupt this book to report that you have won an all expenses paid trip to Hawaii. Your ship will leave today from California. Hurry. Aloha, oi. This is great news because you need sand and Hawaii has plenty of it. Glass is made from sand and you need glass to make your measuring cup. Fill a pail of sand. Watch out for falling coconuts. Make your way to New Hampshire for granite. New Hampshire can usually be found between Maine and Vermont. Granite can usually be found on the sides of steep mountains. Repel down the side of a mountain and chisel a chunk of granite for your pastry slab. Next stop, Texas. To get to Texas, follow the coastline south. When you hit Florida, turn right, then go straight until you run into a longhorn steer. Ask the steer directions to an oil field. Plastic is made from oil and you'll need about a quart to make your spoons. Tip your hat to the oil workers and then head to the airport. Board a plane flying north. When you're over South Dakota, don't forget to wave to the presidents. Then chill out in Alaska, just because it's there. After you've seen the scenery, hurry home. Now, all you have to do is process the coal, mix with iron and roll into flat sheets. Form the sheets into a pie pan. Spin the cotton into thread, Weave the thread into cloth, cut and stitch the cloth into pot holders. Carve the wood into a rolling pin, then sand and seal. Shape the clay into a bowl, paint with glaze, and then fire. Process the oil and pour into spoon-shaped molds. Cut the granite into a square pastry slab, and then smooth and polish. Melt the sand until it liquefies, and then pour onto a measuring cup mold. Next, using your bowl, spoons, rolling pin, measuring cup, pie pan, pastry slab, and pot holders, mix the ingredients and bake the pie. When the pie is cooled, cut into slices with a pie server. If you don't have a pie server, you can get one at the cook shop. But if the cook shop is still closed, why not join the parade? Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars.